Hello friends, this is React CRUD application tutorial series, and under this part, we will first create insert data component, and then after we will set, router of that insert data component. In previous part, we have already learned, how to fetch data from database, by using PHP API. And then after, display on web page, by using React use state, and use effect hook. If you not seen that part, so we have put that video tutorial link, under this video description. Now let's start discussing this topic, so first we have to create one, at .jsx file, under this component directory. Under this file, first we have import react, and use state hook, from react library. After this, we have import lint component from React Router DOM library. Here the lint component is a key part of React Router library, which is used for handling routing and navigation. After this, under this file, we have create add function, so it will defines a React functional component with name add. Under this function, we have to define user and set user variable is equal to use state hook. So here, we have using use state hook, from react library, and here. User is a state variable, which will hold the user data, and here. We have initialize object, with three properties like first name, last name and email. And here, this user object will represent the data of the user, which we want to add. After this, set user is a function, that allows you to update the user state, so when we have called, the set user with new data. Then React will re-render the component with updated state. Next we have to write handle change callback function and this function is used in React component for handle changes into input field under form. Under this function we have to write name and value variable is equal to event.target. This code will destructing to extract two properties from event.target object. Here name property of the input field, which is often used to identify the specific field being changed. And value property of the input field, which contains the new value entered by the user. Now we have to write set user function and under this function we have to write spread operator, with user variable, so this code will copy, all existing properties from current user object. After this, we have to write, name key with value variable, is an object property, with the dynamic key. And here, it uses name variable, which corresponds to input field name, as key, and it assigned the value, which is the new value of input field to it. So on every input field value change, it will update the user state variable object data. Now below this, we have to write return statement, so it will define the structure and content of the component's user interface. Under this, first we have paste this sample HTML code, and under this, we want to create form for add new user data. So here, we have to write form tag with method is equal to post. Under this form, first we want to create input field, for get first name data. So here we have to write, input type is equal to text, and name attribute is equal to first name, and class name is equal to, form control. And here, we have to write, on change attribute is equal to, handle change function. So when we have type, something under this text box, then it will update this text box value, under user object first name key value. After this, we want to create another, input field for get, last name data. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to text, and name is equal to last name, and class name is equal to form control.
and here we have to write on change attribute is equal to handle change function so when we have type under this text box then it will update this text box value under user object last name key value next we want to create another input field for get user email data so here we have to write input type is equal to email with name attribute is equal to name and class name attribute is equal to form control and here we have to write on change attribute is equal to handle change function so when we have type under this text box then it will update this email text box value under user object email key value and lastly for submit form data so here we have to write input type is equal to submit with class name attribute is equal to button and button primary class and in value we have to write add so this code will make submit button for add user data so here our add user data form is ready now here we have to write export default add component data so it will export this component and we can import this component in another file now we want to import this file under this app.jsx file so we have goes into this file and here we have to write import statement with component name add and after this we have to write part of this add.jsx file so by this code we can import this add component under this file now here we have to define route for this add component so here we have to write route tag with path attribute is equal to slash with add so here we have to define url path and here we have to write element attribute is equal to add component so this code will check when url paths is equal to slash add then it will rendered add component on web page now we want to create link for add user data on user list page so we have goes to user list file and here first we want to import link component from the react router dumb library because this link component is a crucial part of this react router and a popular library for handling routing and navigation in react application after this here we have to write link component tag with two attribute is equal to slash add so it will render add user form on web page and here we have to define class name and in link text we have to write add so it will create add user link on web page and when we have click on this link then it will render add user form on web page without refresh of web page same way we want to add user list link on add user page so here in import code we have write link so here on this file also we have to import link component also so now we have want to link this page to user list page so here we have to write link field with two attribute is equal to slash and after this we have to write class name attribute is equal to bootstrap library class and in button text we have to write view all so when we have click on this link then it will render user list page and display user list on web page without refresh of web page so friends in browser we have open base url of our react application and here on web page we can see that user data has been display on web page in table and above this we can see that add user link has been created and now we have click on this link and after click on this link we can see that add user form has been load without refresh or reload of web page because when we have click on add link then react has rendered add user form and display on the web page same way here we can see that view all link has been seen here so we have click on this link so after click on this link we can see that user list has been display on web page without refreshing and reloading of web page so in this video tutorial we can see that how to create add component and then after 
we have set route for this at component under this react crud application in next part we will learn how to submit this add user form data to php api under this react crud application so we will be meet in next part